Now we go back out to Paris Schutz, who spent the day reporting in the North Halstead neighborhood in Lakeview. It's part of our Chicago Tonight in Your Neighborhood series. Paris. Hey, uh, Brandis, we're here with Ken Griffin, who is the chief operating officer of the Howard Brown Health Center. Howard Brown obviously operates here in Boys Town, up in Uptown. Uh, it's very crucial for the LGBTQ population. Talk about how difficult it is in general uh, for access to health care among the LGBTQ population. Absolutely, Paris. One of the biggest things that we have here in Chicago and around the country is access to care for the LGBTQ population. And because of that, Howard Brown specializes in that care. We are a federally qualified health care center that sees patients that are underinsured, uninsured, and no insurance at all to ensure that we have an equitable place for them to come and receive care. And, and talk about uh, how you've been treating this community in COVID. Uh, have, ha, has, it, has it been hard to get people vaccinated? Are they, are they fully bought into vaccination? So for us, it's actually been a fairly interesting trip with vaccinations. We were the first ones to host a mass vaccination event here in Chicago. And on February 13th, we vaccinated 2000 individuals that were Howard Brown patients and community. Um, to date, we are at about 60,000 patients vaccinated. Whether you're a Howard Brown patient or not, community member or not, we are vaccinating you. So we've had a very good chance with vaccinating individuals and bringing them into our health care centers. Do you see any hesitancy among any communities or folks that you have to sort of uh, demystify the process to a little bit. Absolutely. Because of the vaccination rollout and how quick people think it rolled out, we of course have to make sure that individuals know that vaccines were not prepared overnight. Um, we do see some hesitancy. However, we do educate the individuals on when the vaccine was prepared, how it will do good for you, and why you should receive it. We talked uh, about this a little bit with the center on Halstead, but what about the mental health impact in the LGBTQ community? What have you seen there specifically uh, in, in folks that that might identify as non-binary, uh, transgender, because um, we heard that, that perhaps they're struggling a little more. Absolutely. People are struggling more because of the access to health care. So here at Howard Brown, we provide an array of services from primary care to behavioral health services to dental and other services. So if individuals feel that they need to come into Howard Brown or any of our 11 health care centers around Chicago to receive care, we are readily available and we're seeing patients. We've actually gone back to pre-COVID hours and we are seeing more patients now than we did a year ago. And as I understand, Howard Brown has launched a study into the impact of COVID on uh, the LGBTQ population. What have you found so far? Absolutely. So our study is trying to get 45,000 LGBTQ members across the country and to look and see what COVID has done to these individuals. Because COVID has ravaged our neighborhood, our community, and our population, we want to make sure that we're providing the best service for the LGBTQ population. So you don't no no results quite yet. You're no still results into quite that. yet. What do you but expect we're to still, find? What we're expecting to find is the same thing we find with other marginalized communities, that because of the comorbidities, the pre-existing conditions, and some of the ailments that we may have a part of this community, that it has plagued us in a different way. So we're trying to make sure that we're providing that care for those individuals. So if we have another pandemic in another 100 years, we'll be safe and ready to go. Have to learn lessons from absolutely, this past year. Absolutely. All right, Ken Griffin, Ken J.A. Griffin. Ken J.A. Griffin. As thank I understand, you. a different Ken Griffin. Different there, we Ken know Griffin. there's another thank Ken you so Griffin much, in town. Paris. All right, thank you very much. And Brandis, we toss it back to you. Yeah, Paris, not to be confused with the other Ken Griffin. Thanks. We'll see you. <laughs>